You're welcome back to Nationwide and to this special programme about the heritage of North Wexford. Well, we promised you rebellion before the break, and now we're just outside Enniscorthy in a place of great natural beauty with wonderful views, but it's also a place where there was terrible bloodshed and death during the 1798 rebellion, as well documented in the song Bula Vogue. We're at Vinegar Hill, or the Pleasant Slaney, where our heroes vainly stood back to back. Jackie Hines, you're going to tell us about the history of this place because it really is a very important location in the history of our country. Absolutely, Mary. Uh, Vinegar Hill, the battle took place on the 21st of June, 1798, the longest day of the year, astronomically, and the longest day really for those that were on the hill. History suggests about 20,000 men, women and children were on this hill here, facing 10,000 of the Crown forces. And we must remember that they are really the, the, the greatest fighting machine of, of the British Empire at the time. And the Irish people, they had their pikes and their staffs. It really became one of the bloodiest battlefields ever, didn't it? Absolutely. Uh, in a very short space of time, history suggests that 1,500 died here on the hill uh, in the space of four to six hours. Mm -hmm. um, so we're part of a research project that's trying to figure out exactly what happened here on that day. <laughs> we're about halfway through a three-year project, which is going to be the largest investigation into any battlefield in Ireland. Our underwater archaeology investigations, um, our remote sensing, we're starting that phase next. Um, but we've looked at the historical record, the folk tradition, the town architecture, and all that's given us a picture then that can direct um, and influence the remote sensing. Even looking at the, the reenactors here behind us, you get a real sense of the bravery, the courage, and the awfulness of what happened. Absolutely, and most of the people that were on that hill uh, on that day had never seen battle of this magnitude before. The battle started at four o'clock in the morning. They're being bombarded by shells, by um, 14 guns that are firing on them from strategic locations. And then at eight o'clock when retreat is ordered to try and make your way off of this hill safely down to Wexford, 20,000 people going through a very narrow passageway. Um, it must have been a scene of absolute terror. Look at this, this is a model of Vinegar Hill where we have just been. We've come down now to the town of Enniscorthy and we're at the 1798 centre. It tells the story of the rebellion. Rory O'Connor is the manager. I'm going to go off now and meet him because he's going to fill us in. Rory, we've just come from Vinegar Hill, a site of great bloodshed and a lot of fighting, but the rebellion, the 1798 rebellion, really was part of an international warfare at the time, wasn't it? Absolutely, Mary. Uh, the rebellion here in 1798, deeply influenced by both the French War of Independence and also the American War of Independence, but in the space of that 20 years, we also have revolutions and rebellions breaking out in the Dutch Netherlands, the Austrian Netherlands, Poland, Hungary, Russia and Slovenia. So it really was a time of upheaval all across Europe and North America at the time. What's the reaction of visitors when they've done the tour? A uh, phenomenal response and we're very, very delighted. The centre here was originally built for the Bicentenary in 98 and uh, thankfully then we redeveloped just in May of 2013. So all the technology in the centre is fairly new and uh, very, very good visitor experience, kind of top of the range uh, experience for anyone coming to visit. So it would be a great place to come if you're on a trip to Enniscorthy. Absolutely, and indeed not just Enniscorthy on the south east of Ireland, anywhere at all. Really, really would recommend a visit. Uh, it's a great way to pass uh, at a few hours and uh, you'll learn a lot, but also have a very enjoyable experience as well. If you came to Enniscorthy, it would be a terrible shame if you didn't come here and visit this. Enniscorthy Castle was built in the 13th century. It's been home to the Normans, to English Earls, to rich merchant families, and today to us on Nationwide. Mary, it's quite an extensive castle, and what's really 
noticed from the very beginning is the fabulous views over the town. Wonderful views, yes, and they were there for a reason. You know, the castle was built on a gorgeous high site so that it, everybody knew who was in charge uh, in Enniscorthy, <laughs> and uh, that is the reason actually why it's so impressive to mm. this day, you know, that in fact you can still see the castle very well from the end of the river. There's a fabulous journey through Irish history, really, in this castle, isn't there? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you start actually in the dungeon, uh, where um, in the end of the 1500s there was some poor guy incarcerated down there. And down on the ground floor, it shows a whole Norman planter timeline period. When you come to the first floor then, where we are now, you can see um, at, at the life and times and the background to a family who lived here from 1900 to 1953. Uh, you go upstairs and you see how the castle was engaged in the 1916 rebellion here in Enniscorthy and also uh, a wonderful tribute room to a lady called Eileen Gray. Eileen Gray was, uh, as we know, a, f a famous architect, furniture designer, artist, wonderful innovator, uh, very much a modernist, but she was born just outside the town and so we have a whole tribute room related to her. It's great to have so many stories in a small area so the people can come in and enjoy it and hear about vast centuries really of activity that went on in the castle so it's been it's been it's wonderful to have it and so we come to the end of this whistle stop tour of what north wexford has to offer as part of ireland's ancient southeast you get more information on the visitwexford.ie website don't forget that on wednesday night's program we'll be having a little trip around South Wexford. I tell you, by the end of the week, I'll be a right yellow belly. Shindera, let it lower. Iwagwif, agus kadeshev slán.